Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash ask reddit where user Chupakbra asks you have five seconds to ruin the entire wedding. What would you do? In the middle of the ceremony stand up, interrupt the officiant and publicly propose to someone else. Claim the bride is pregnant with your child or you are pregnant with the groom's child and have four seconds left to spare. I'd use that time to take a shit on the floor while you suggest names for the baby. Take a shit on the floor? We said four seconds, not 40 minutes while looking at Reddit. Pastry chef here. I used to do a lot of wedding cakes and would have to move them to wherever the couple wanted it displayed. I always had a fantasy. If I ever decided to quit, walk out, to purposely drop the cake in front of the wedding party and act like it was an accident and just burst out in tears and storm out to never to be seen again. So to answer your question, destroy the cake or shit on it or something, if that's your style. Bribe the organist with cash to play the Phantom of the Opera theme as the bride comes down the aisle. When you say you may now kiss the bride, they never specified who may kiss the bride. Yell fire! That worked with the graduation. Eat the plastic dolls on top of the cake. Take off my pants and start doing the helicopter. (laughs) I do that Naruto finger jab thing to the bride's butt, sending her flying into the cake. When one of my cousins got remarried, another one of my cousins started singing Gold Digger just loud enough for the section where all our family was sitting to hear. So the bride is walking down the aisle while the groom's entire family is trying not to ruin the wedding by laughing. One of my aunts had tears streaming down her face she was trying so hard not to laugh. I had the preacher say, until death does you a favour instead of until death do you part and it only cost me 20 bucks. Show up wearing a large elaborate wedding dress, propose to the best man, cry hard when I don't get an immediate yes, so my makeup runs, spit on the bride, grab and kiss the groom, and run away screaming about how flat the earth is. For the visuals, I am a 36 year old man. Since when did you become straight? Quietly stand up and stand next to the bride as she walks up to the altar, straight face and everything, and refuse to sit down for the entire ceremony. If nothing else, it'll make everyone question who's getting married to who. At a reception, my wife and I were on the dance floor and I really had to fart. I figured I'd do it while the music was loud. I stood back a little from her and let it rip the very second the DJ lost power. Everyone looked our way and saw me looking at my wife. They looked at my wife. She ran off in a huff. Then, I still had bad gas and was looking for a place to let it rip. The hall had some bay doors to a balcony, so I backed my ass out of the doors and blasted ass. I turned around to close the doors and saw the bride and groom were out there having an alone moment that I just farted on. Lob a grenade into the altar. Kill Billet. Shit! Sorry everyone. I just got my Covid test back and I tested positive. I tell them about what happened during the bachelor party. Play the wedding march on kazoo while the couple walks to the altar. Bring a spoiled child to it. Puke all over the bride. Kill someone. 100% success. Anything can be ruined with a strategically placed poop. Ceremony, drop one on the altar. Reception, curl one out on the head table. Honeymoon suite. Have you ever had the surprise of a man jumping naked from a cupboard and defecating on the new bed linens? Trust me, nobody is getting laid after that. Bring a dozen of rabid ferrets and let them loose after throwing food near the bride and groom. Thank you for joining us in this alcohol-free wedding. So many people are coming up with various bits of rudeness or nudeness that amount to little than temporary obstacles and annoyances. If you want to ruin a wedding, you're going to have to do something a bit more permanent and scarring. Poison half the drinks, so that, as the ceremony begins, half of the wedding party and all the guests begin vomiting gouts of blood and dying painfully in their loved one's arms. Drone strike the wedding party and leave the survivors to claw their way to sunlight from under a bloody pile of their friends and family. Whipping out your dick isn't enough to ruin a wedding permanently. Unless your dick is lethal. How would you ruin a wedding? Let me know in the comments. And this was posted by user Cappuccino. Wow! 
What are you hilariously bad at? Wrapping gifts. It looks like an angry drunk person's attempt every time. If you watched me try to parallel park, you'd be convinced I was fucking with you. I don't even come close. And I'm trying really hard. Closing pizza boxes. Spelling. My goal is to spell a word, not correctly, but correctly enough so that the predictive text can figure it out and can show me the real spelling of the word. I often fail even at that though, so my last resort is always Google. Talking to people I don't know. Under threat of death, I still wouldn't be able to whistle. I've read the tips, I've practiced, I'm still basically just spitting or forcefully breathing through pursed lips with no noise at all. Winking. I cannot wink for the life of me. My friends are constantly harassing me for my inability to wink. It's awful. Why can so many people just shut one eye? It seems so simple. Yeah, I just can't. Dancing. I genuinely cannot coordinate my body to do it. Same here. No matter what I do, how I move, I always feel like I'm doing that stereotypical white guy dance or worse. I look like one of those inflatable tube guys. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Posing for pictures. When I smile, it looks like there's a gun being pointed at me behind the camera. I just don't understand how photogenic people exist. Yes. My dad had a really kind and warm smile normally, but in my parents' wedding album, he looks like a serial killer waiting to strike. He does this weird thing with his eyes when he knows his picture's been taken that makes him look insane. Flirting. I'm so bad at it when I'm trying. I'm such an awkward person. I'm good at it, as in I don't realise I'm doing it when I'm not trying. Telling jokes. I always tell the punchline too soon or bastardise it in such a way that it's no longer funny. The hubs always gives me grief. Remembering names. I don't know why, but I can't remember names. I've forgotten names of people I've known for years and talked to them regularly. Finding my keys, wallet and phone right before I have to leave. I'm reasonably fit, but can't do sit-ups. I can do like 30 push-ups with textbook form, but not one single sit-up. Also, don't throw anything and expect me to catch it. It'll bounce out of my palm and I'll close my fingers like five seconds later. Distinguishing left and right. When someone says to go left or right, I just get a brain fart. Friends and family just point out the way for me now. I wrote L and R on my hands during lessons for my driver's license. Speaking on the phone, I will stare at my phone waiting for it to go to voicemail or send a text. Golfing. I went to the drive range with my dad once. I was so terrible, other people stopped playing just to watch me suck. People who were paying to be there decided I was more entertaining than playing. Math. I go to my country's top law school, but I still have to use my fingers to do simple addition. My 12-year-old cousin could do mental math faster than I can. Ask me to write a 3,000 word essay the night it's due and I'll ace that shit. Ask me to do a simple math equation and I will cry. Using tools. My hands become paddles. I usually just let my wife assemble everything while I provide moral support in the corner. Cooking. I have burned Easy Mac more than once. One time nearly took down the entire kitchen. Public speaking. Once I cough for a minute straight while on stage before running away. Trying to hit the ball in sport. Hula hooping. Keeping a straight face during try not to laugh challenges. They aren't as popular as they used to be, but when they were all over YouTube, I find out I am very easily amused. Thumb wars. I'm six foot four, 100 kilograms, and my dead grandmother could beat me in thumb wrestling. I've never won once in my life. Reading the room. I was asked to speak for something and started making jokes. My mom dragged me by the ear and said, What the fuck are you doing? This is a damn funeral! Waking up early. It's like trying to jumpstart a bear out of hibernation. Not me, but my dad cannot open a Capri Sun. Replying to text messages. I still have unread messages from 2017. Folding fitted sheets. Jesus Christ, that's harder than it needs to be. Grab it. And then you tuck this in this corner, too, like that. So all your corners are lined up carefully. <laughs> Is that serious? I don't know. Keep it lined up. And then in half, and then in half. 
There it is. That's <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you have heard, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reed's Reddit. See you tomorrow.